Hello everyone and welcome to my fifth game development log video and good morning as you can see I finally connected up the game engine with the game itself and we've got all the nice lighting effects into the game now and it looks pretty good now I'm very happy with it it's running at very high frame rates which is brilliant um, all the shading effects are in there I've even got some specular lighting on the player just because I can and it's yeah it's a pretty good success I'm very happy with it I've also got day and night cycle now which I will just speed up for you now um, god that looks really bad on here I'm really sorry for that uh, I'll try and improve the quality for the next video um, wow I'm gonna speed it up quickly today because you cannot actually see anything when it's night um, so yeah the game engine finally connected up uh, there's a specular lighting on the player it's not brilliant because the player is a pretty low polygon model but it's yeah it's okay I've uh, got some lighting on the trees now which is nice on this really badly textured tree um, I really need to change these tree models because as you can see they're really polygon heavy they're about 60,000 polygons or something each which is ridiculous and definitely not good for a game uh, I've got the fog effect still which looks absolutely terrible on this video but uh, I can assure you it looks a lot better in the game and now the fog actually changes colour when you go into the tree area which is cool so I can have some different fog effects in different areas oh my gosh this video looks awful uh, I'm really sorry about that and yeah so it's sunset now and I can show you what the lighting looked like before in the old update um, I've added a new button to turn the lighting off and yeah look at that it's such an improvement now it's uh, quite crazy and yeah it just makes all the hard work worth it really um, so that's nice also this week I added a uh, wireframe mode which I will show you now um, if I can find a button for it yeah this is uh, completely useless and I only really use it to show people my game because it looks really technical and exciting and people love it and there's really no other reason to have wireframe mode so that's pretty much it for this week actually um, at the moment I'm working on texture atlases and I'll be able to show you that next week hopefully the quality will be a bit better in the video next week I'm sorry I don't know what happened this week bit of a disaster but yeah thank you very much for watching this video uh, follow me on Twitch if you want the links in the description below um, but yeah I will see you all next week